I don't wanna. I don't. Oh god, it's gone. Okay, I've got the ball. Hey everyone, Migs here, and welcome to the demo for K9. Now, in today's PlayStation 1 horror-styled game, we are playing as a boy named Tommy who is trying to rescue his dog. From who? Well, it's an evil corporation that apparently they run experiments on pets. I mean, it's one thing to actually uh, perform harsh experiments on animals. It's another bag of beans when you're experimenting on pets. I mean, how dare they? So we got a mission to do. Also, I don't know why children uh, in these games always find themselves in these situ situations. I mean, get an adult, call the cops. Why are you doing this by yourself? <laughs> I digress, you guys. I am actually pretty excited about this. I'm also pretty sure, I mean, I'm guessing what's going to happen at the end. I'm pretty sure you have your theories as well. So let's not waste another minute and let's get to it. Uh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy has been missing. Oh, that's the dog. I thought Tommy was the uh, boy. Uh, for three weeks, I received an anonymous call saying that he is in Umbral Clinic. Hold on, Tommy, I'm coming for you. Thank you, by the way, developer, for giving me enough time to read all that text. I can't tell you how many times. Uh, that's impossible to do. Okay, we have a ball. Oh, is this how we call for, uh, for a boy? Tommy? Is it Tommy or is it Tommy? I'm not sure. Um, now, I was on the game page and I read that this game is influenced by uh, such games like Resident Evil and Alien, Alien Isolation. So we are uh, dealing with uh, survival horror. Hi. This is not a good place for a boy like you. Oh, all right. Is that all you got to say? Are you looking for your dog? Yes. Lots of pets go missing lately around here. And I think that shady pet clinic has something to do with it. Oh, it's a pet clinic. Be careful, boy. Alright, I'll be careful. Alright, let's get let's get moving. Let's try to find this clinic, huh? Oh Do I dare? I do dare. Nothing unusual, except for that dead animal inside. Oh no. I mean, pretty sure many of you are aware what happens at animal shelters when dogs do not get adopted. It's a very sad thing. That's why. Oh, that was the clinic. Interesting. Uh, that's why it's very, uh, very important that if you decide to get a pet, get a rescue. Okay. What are we doing here, huh? Okay. Nothing creepy about that radio. I see that we, uh... Oh, I should mention about the uh, controls. Uh, I mean, you saw it in the corner up there. It's standard. Um... We could crouch, we could sprint. All the goodies. What is that down there? Oh. Oh no. Bunny rabbit. Evil bunny rabbits. There are gonna be evil pets around this whole entire facility. You can bet your ass. Oh, that bunny's gonna chase me. I just realized you're not gonna be able to see it because you know my my big glamorous body is uh covering it but there is a stamina bar and uh we gotta be uh keep a watch of that in case we have to actually run so no need no need to run right now <gasps> a shotgun but i don't know how to shoot 
I mean, you just point. Point the stick at a bad thing and then pull the trigger. Why would you have that there if I can't use it? Okay. Oh. What's this? Apparently there's something about this locker here. Locker 18. I thought it was this postcard, but it's nothing. I can't do anything about it. Because... Like I said, I, I have a feeling that we're going to have to do a lot of hiding here. And, of course, we know lockers is the, uh, lockers are the prime place to hide in. And bathrooms. Gotta admit, pretty scared. It's the, the tension, the tension building. But yeah, just keep moving. Follow the blood. It could be our, uh, could be our poor little poochie, Toby. I mean, Tommy. Tommy. Please don't jump scare me. Please, God, don't jump scare me. Okay, the blood ends. Tommy, is that you? I can't see anything. I gotta find a way to turn on the lights. All right. So apparently this is a dark ass room with some creature in it. Um, hopefully caged. I mean, it's not chasing us yet. Uh, what the hell? That's not what you want, now is it? Okay, ah. Locker key number 18. And what's this? PC data not available in demo. Well, fine. No problem. That's weird. All right. Let's keep moving. Ah, so we'll need a fuse, which might be in locker 18. Let's take a look. Oh, don't chase me. Please don't chase me. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, I gotta admit, though, it's like I said earlier, the tension is there. The tension is very potent. Okay. Let's open this bad boy up. I got the fuse. I got it, guys. Okay. Something bad's gonna happen right here. <gasps> We're good. We're good, guys. I'm so afraid of what's going to pop up in this uh, shadowy shadows. God, that's way too dark. Okay. So do the job. Put in the fuse. Again, this boy is very brave to be doing this. Ha! What was that? Was that a creature or was that one of the employees? Oh, God, that is a creature. What do you expect me to do? You expect me to go up and... I mean, that, that, that that's just a bad idea. That's a bad idea all over, dude. I don't want to. Ta Tommy? Tommy? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh my god. I'm blocked off. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. No. No, don't. Oh god, please don't. I hate it. Maybe I can use Tommy's ball. Get out of here, you. Oh. Is it gone? Holy shit. Okay. Nice and easy, guys. 
Nice and easy. Should have never ever came here. <gasps> the bunny rabbit. I should go back for Tommy's ball. It might be useful in the future. Uh, there's a creature that is feasting on that ball. Oh my god. What? How? How do I get the ball? The creature is uh, playing with it. I don't wanna. I don't. Oh god, it's gone. Okay, I've got the ball. Ah! Hello? Well, there you guys have it. That was K9, the demo for K9 by Puko Games. And gotta say, I mean, I've got the fierce sweats going on here. And I think it's the fact that this is a, a survival horror. Uh, I, for one, am always terrified playing survival horror games. I mean, to this day, I still have not completed Alien Isolation. Maybe I will sometime in the future for this channel. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. But... Right now, I gotta tell you, Puka Games, you got something cooking here. I like it. Um, definitely has the right kind of tropes. Uh, really good jump scare at the end, very effective. It's uh, overall a pretty decent um, PlayStation 1 style horror game. So, can't wait to see how this turns out. I mean, I hope for the best. And let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this whole experience. Until then, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to smash that like. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video. And that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL and I will see you in the next video.